be hard to uh, add to everything that someone said tonight. One of the uh, things that I heard tonight was the word honky tonk. And you know, I hear that a lot when I have people call in for reservations. They say, oh, we don't want to be in an area where there's honky tonk. And I said, you know, it's, it's your viewpoint because it's not honky tonk, it's Americana. <laughs> and I don't care how you walk down that street, there isn't a scent of a fried dough or the noise of the guns in an arcade that doesn't bring back memories to everybody that's walking down there as a child. So it has to be American. It's something we don't want to lose. And I don't want to see it all be wiped out and just have condominiums. So how do we keep that but we move ahead? All of the different um, meetings that we've had over the past 30 something years on how to improve the beach, there's been a lot of ideas. I think one of the things that we've come up with, you have to have something that's world famous. Can it be the, the world's largest arches? Can it be the world's biggest whatever? We need to come in. I remember one of the things that I thought maybe we could do when we were going to have the new bridge uh, <coughs> at the other end is maybe have the world's waviest bridge <laughs> and uh, maybe put that restaurant on it. Perhaps we could have the world's largest pier that goes off the south side of Board's Head that goes all the way out like they do in California where you've got artists along the way on the pier and perhaps we could entice the cruise ship to come in if it goes out far enough or they could even have a shuttle to the cruise ships which would bring business in. So we need to think outside of the box a little bit. Maybe the world's largest carousel could be put somewhere in this area. It doesn't have to be right at the beach, but we need something that says, oh, this is the world's largest something. So everybody wants to come and see it. <coughs> the other thing that um, a lot of people do today is exercise, as they mentioned with the bicycle races and stuff. There were over 1,600 people in that last race that, that voted into that. Certainly we need to capitalize on that. Maybe we could have a continuous boardwalk or running uh, path or whatever you want to call it from one end of the beach out through the thing up around Board's Head and up the other end and back and maybe there could be stops along the way where there's different exercises that people could do and we could advertise that. <coughs> the other thing that I've heard tonight is people, how do you get to get rid of the, the garage doors and all that sort of look? That's a whole other problem of how do you get people to stay down here year round. One of the things I'd like to suggest that I don't know if there's a way of doing this through tax incentives but if we can encourage people to live on the property where they have their business. Perhaps it could be a two-tier uh, tax system. You get a reduced tax if you actually are a permanent resident here at the beach and you live on the premises, uh, let's say on the second floor, and then you have your business on the first floor and you keep it open year round. We need to create a community where we're not simply closing up and have day trippers down here the rest of the year. We have to be a destination resort and we need to create this community. And I think one of the ways is to get people an incentive to stay here on their properties and operate them at all times. <coughs> the, um, the, other, the last thing that I'd like to uh, mention is you mentioned the architectural review that's been part of the uh, Hampton Area Commission. It's time to make that a permanent part of the process, either by law or whatever it is to make it part of the process. So everybody has to go. It's no longer an option, but this architectural review must be uh, part of the process to go ahead. That's all that I have to say. Thank you.